Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we are going to be discussing Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 versus GURPS 4th Edition. So, let's talk about it. Um, well, basically, um, they're two very, very different games. Um, I played them both. I enjoyed both of them quite a bit, actually. Um, I know uh, one of my uh, friends is actually, those are like his two favorite systems, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, let's, let's talk about them, um, because they're very different and they're for very different reasons. Um, but, th th uh, there's a lot of things that they have in common that I like. Um, yeah. So, uh, when you look at D&D 3.5, you know, it's your, it, it, your standard. In fact, I think it actually set the standard for, um, tabletop role-playing games. Um, it's got the D20 system. It's got, um, you know, the whole... Uh, additive sys like it's got it's basically this um the way the game works is pretty similar to 5e in its basic sense um 5e is pretty much just a dumbed down version of 3 5 um so yeah um you know uh 3 5 it's fairly simple you have your d20 you have to you know uh, uh get better than the saves uh or you have to meet the dc's meet or beat um you know it's all about that doing damage uh it's got the grid uh system usually uh rectangular grid um so yeah uh, that's D D three five uh, i rather enjoy it it's you know medieval fantasy game it uses um all sorts of fun stuff um yeah whereas gurps it's different it's a 3d it's a d6 game where you roll 3d6 and um, you actually want to roll low. The goal is to uh, roll lower than your uh, score. And if you have a high score, then you you want to roll lower than that so that you uh, you know you beat it. So that you you know uh, and that that's how you win. So uh, you know you have a high score, and then the higher you your score is, the higher you can roll and still succeed. Um, low rolls are ideal. So um, that's. Been um that's basically uh, uh, uh GURPS. Um it's basic system. It uses a hex system on top of that. Um so you know that's something uh, uh that's I struggle with, but you know, other people like it, and it makes sense. I understand why GURPS does that. It's not a medieval game, it can be used for a medieval fantasy system, but it's actually designed for um, anything. And uh, I actually noticed that uh, I made a slight mistake in my uh, review uh, video for GURPS, where I said it uh, stood for uh, what general universal role playing game. Uh, that apparently general is not the correct word. Um, I forget what the actual one was, but uh, yeah, apparently I was wrong about that. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it's a it's a pretty fun system. I really enjoy it. Um, I like the fact that it uh, takes more tactics into account. I'm still learning them, so I don't like them just because I'm not good at it. But like, if I was better, I'd probably enjoy it. Um, yeah. Uh, I like that uh, the rules seem to make sense for the most part. There's some things that I think are kind of nonsense, but uh, for the most part, I think the rules are pretty well grounded in logic, and I like that. Um, uh, I, it can be difficult to do certain things, like sometimes uh, if you want to take certain tasks, it can um, be not that fun waiting for everyone else to go, but it's supposed to be fast-paced, so uh, that's pretty nice. Um, I don't know. I, I find um, I, I find the game pretty interesting for the most part, uh, to be honest. Um, I rather I, I really like um, just how customizable it is. Um, GURPS, uh, particularly fourth edition, is uh, a system that um, you can really do whatever you want. like. You can really uh, you know make customized builds. You can make like characters from shows and other and movies and other pop culture things and really put them in um, and make them work fairly close to what they actually are in their original source. Whereas that's a lot harder to do in 3.5. You can do it, but some of them are trickier depending on what you're trying to go for. And they're going to be not quite what you're looking for since we're, you know, they're trying to adapt them to medieval uh, fantasy. 
Um, and there's only so much you can do since, you know, it's a cla uh, D and D three, five is a class based system. You take, you level up and you take classes, uh, and then classes give various things. So you have to find, uh, classes that give you the things that you want and find some way to combine them. Whereas with, um, GURPS, it's all, it's all point based. You just have so many points and different abilities are worth certain amounts of points and you just buy what you need. And it's really that simple. So uh, you, you can get a lot more accurate with it. Now, if you're doing a medieval fantasy setting, I'd say D&D &D is actually um, the better system. But for most other things, yeah, GURPS is definitely um, better in that regard. Um, yeah, it, it, it's different. Um, I really enjoy both systems quite a lot. Um, personally, I'm still a 3.5 fan. I still think I'd like 3.5 more, but I'm not going to hate on GURPS too much. Like, being a second to D&D 3.5 is, you know, it's pretty solid. I like it more than most systems out there. It was uh, That was one of the most fun uh, games I've played, uh, other than 3.5. So, yeah, I might have had to do with something that um, uh, the DM that I had uh, I was really good. Um, uh, a friend of mine, uh, shout out to you, Kevin, man, if you're actually watching, uh, but, uh, yeah, um, that's really all I got to say about it. I think, uh, I think they're both great systems. Um, they're both very different systems designed for two different things, but, um, uh, I, I enjoy playing both. So yeah. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm curious what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more videos, uh, mostly on 3.5. Uh, I mean, I'm a 3.5 fan, what can I say? Uh, and most of my content's on 3.5. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.